Welcome back to Street Smart. Specialty glassmaker Corning narrowly beat Wall Street estimates when it released earnings today with sales up 17 percent in the second quarter. But it is the lower forecast for sales of the company's Gorilla Glass that sent the stock down around 7 percent, marking the biggest one-day drop in over a year. Corning had expected the super strong glass used in cell phones and tablet computers to do a billion dollars in business this year. Well, today it cut that number by 20 percent. And as you can see, investors are definitely reacting when it comes to the share price. Joining us now in an exclusive interview from Corning, New York, is the company's chief financial officer, Jim Flaws. Jim, good to have you back here with Matt and myself. Uh, as you know, the stock price down a lot today, down about 6%. Investors are disappointed about that forecast uh, for Gorilla Glass. You told us about a billion dollars. What, what's happened here that you guys had to rein in that number? Well, really, it all relates to the uh, cover glass for the television, uh, which we were putting on Sony televisions, and they're definitely not selling as much of those. Uh, but for us, the more exciting news remains the gorilla on the tablets and smartphones. That business is tripling this year from 250 million to 750 million. And that's where we make the real money on gorilla. TV cover, actually, we didn't make any money on. So this was always the riskier part of our gorilla forecast. And we're actually delighted by uh, the 750 million for tablets and handhelds and think it'll grow again next year. So, so investors that are missing what here, Jim? Because as I mentioned, the stock right now down more than 7%. It's a big hit for you guys. I mean, investors obviously don't understand it. What do you want to clarify and tell them that they've got wrong here? Well, to the degree the stock is down on the Gorilla uh, news, I don't think it's important news because Gorilla uh, for TV cover was not really the largest opportunity for us. I think they should be focused on handheld and IT smartphones uh, where it's, uh, the business has tripled and the profitability is above our corporate average. I think the other thing investors are focused on today is the bigger news about the fact that we uh, have lowered the overall glass volume for LCDs uh, because most of our customers, the television brands, have said they think it'll be a weaker economy in the back half of the year and that will result in lower glass demand. So I think that's the other thing that's driving the stock today. And that's definitely uh, what we're hearing down here on the floor, Jim. I'm standing in front of the post recording trades, and uh, traders are saying it's getting hit harder than just moving with the market. It really has a lot to do with, with that. Is there an element of under-promise, over-deliver here? I mean, are you trying to be as cautious as possible going forward in the second half? Well, I just say that we regard the economy as uh, being uncertain, um, and certainly uh, uncertainty over the debt in Washington isn't helping. Uh, but I do think one thing that investors are missing is uh, the rest of our company, other than display, uh, had an outstanding quarter, too. Uh, you know, our telecom sales were up over 20 percent, environmental up over 40 percent, life sciences 24 percent. And we're seeing very strong growth in the other businesses. So the story of Corning is more than just display and gorilla. Uh, but definitely investors are focused on the weakness in the economy and televisions right now. Well, help me out, Tim, because the, the segment where you did not see growth was your bigness, business, biggest. I mean, four of your, business, four of your five businesses uh, did see growth this quarter, but the one that didn't is your biggest. So you're telling us we don't need to be worried about that, that you're going to make it up in other areas? I didn't say you needed to be worried about it, but I do think we need to, uh, you know, in quarter two, uh, we had announced that our customer in Japan had taken a, a correction in their inventories in uh, April and May. If mm. they hadn't done that, even display would have grown in quarter two. Uh, but I think investors are right to focus on the weakness in television demand. But, you know, we didn't, we took television demand, our estimate for the year, from being about 222 million televisions down to about maybe 208 to 210. It's not like we dropped it, uh, you know, 20 percent. We made like a 5 percent correction. Uh, the business remains very profitable, throwing off cash. Mm. And coupled with Gorilla, we think our glass businesses are doing great. The good news for Corning now is that our other businesses are also uh, pulling strongly, particularly telecom. And we're delighted by uh, that business. Hey, Jim, just got 20 seconds left here. I mean, last time we spoke with you, you said you were definitely hiring. I'm curious with this maybe revision in the Gorilla Glass and what we're seeing in terms of investor reaction. Are you going to revise that? Are you guys going to kind of hold off on either CapEx spending or hiring at this point? Just quickly. Uh, we are hiring still, but probably at a slightly lower rate. 
Uh, CapEx is maybe down about 5% from what we had forecasted before, uh, but we definitely are reinvesting in both people in our research and development and CapEx for our growth businesses. Hey, Jim, thanks so much for joining us. Jim Flaw there, the CFO of Corning, talking to us about the company's earnings.